How's it going? This is Andres here. So today I'm going to be talking about how to get started into your college and for your college. So if those of you are 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 trying to get straight A's when you get decent grades, this, this is all for you. And if those of you that have straight A's already, good for you. So before I'm going to be talking about it, I'm going to be talking about advices that you can turn to your grades. Also, in order to get straight A's, you're going to have to Pay attention to class while you learn your lesson. Also remember that none of your professors will be hanging you in an A. You have to put in the work in order to get A's. Always remember that. Every professors are different. Or all of you guys have to understand that. So for for you, if you guys don't have straight A's, please do not too hard on yourself because Grades is not everything. They're important, but not the, but they're not the most important. Remember what I told you in the video. That's what I my advice that I just said to you guys. It's what every YouTuber said. Always gotta remember to be mindful about that. Remember that improving your grades is more important than having good grades. Always gotta remember that because I just talked about in the video before. If those are you new here, welcome. Touch to me, one of Sandra. And then those of you who watched this video before, welcome back to the channel. So, I do know that tons of people that didn't have surveys in the college years. So, and they're successful in life. So, I do know, I do know people that are more motivated and they didn't have surveys. So, it's okay. If you guys don't have surveys, it's fine. You're not too hard on yourself like I said before. So now moving on to the tips. For tip number one, do your assignments on time. If you do not think that is right, just go over the answers. Just read that last year so for two to three times and double check to see is right. If it's not right, just change it. If you get it right, just keep more rising into it and that way you can have me to the grade to get an A. So I would recommend that like always. Moving on to tip number two. Tip number two, check with your rate, check, check with rate my professor before you register for classes. So I, I do know that there's there's some types of students that take longer to be doing that stuff. So same thing as me. So I know that it's kind of hard sometimes, but you just need to try harder to check my rate of professors before you register for class. I would suggest to try harder, and that way you can receive the grades where you like. I know this is kind of stressful, but you just need to try harder to do it. Now moving on to now moving on to tip number three. Go to the learning center if you need help with the assignments. So, if you guys need help with the assignments, the tutor assistants are there for you to take your assignments, to help with your assignments. Remember that they can help you out, but they're not gonna tell you the right answers because it might be cheating. They can tell you which one is right or wrong, but they're not gonna tell you the answers because it might be cheating. Always remember that. You can have someone to be free with you to see that you can improve your skills and that way you can receive a better grade including an A so please remember that as I said before if you want an A you're gonna have to read that aloud to yourself two to three times and revise it if you think that is wrong if you think that is wrong just Revise it a little bit and read that lot to yourself. That's my suggestion to you do it. So remember that just do your assignments on time before it is due or the day that is due. Either one that you feel comfortable with. It doesn't matter. So moving on to tip number four. Take classes that your professors receive extra credit because I do know that some professors might offer extra credit and some professors don't. Always remember that for my advice for you is to check rate my professor to see 
is it prohibited up for extra credit or not? If not, you might end up getting decent grades. It's my advice for you guys. I know that it's kind of hard sometimes, but you just need to try harder to do it because in that way you can receive the grade as well as you hope for. So I do know that there's many people in general did not receive the grade as well as they hope for, and they get frustrated easily. So I don't want you to do the same mistakes as them. So please remember that. Just check my professors before you take your professors to class, and that way you can receive the grades as well as you hope for. Also. I didn't have straight A's in my coming college, so it's okay, so it took me longer to improve my GPA as well, so if you guys did the same thing as me, I'm with you there, remember that, you know there's out about it. Now moving on, also, skip that, also, there are opportunities to receive, your, to receive the extra credit grades, and that way you can boost your grade back up to get what you hope for. Cleaning, getting an A. As long as you put in your work, is that good? You'll be good to go. Moving on to tip number five. Follow the concepts that your professor is giving you. Also, study for your tests and quizzes because that's important. So remember that as always. You have to identify your priorities. Also, I do know that. Like I said before, some professors do offer extra credit and some professors don't. So I would suggest to follow the concepts that your professor just gave you. And that way, you can receive the grade as well as you hope for. If not, please do not stress out because it's not worth it. Also, do not think too hard on yourself because of that either. You just try again and that's about it. Accept the grade where you're gonna get and move on. That's all you gotta do. I know that it's kinda hard sometimes, but Sometimes you're gonna have to accept it and move on. Also, my suggestion is that you stay on task in your assignments and complete your assignments on time or the day that is due. Either one. I do know that some professors effectively work and some professors don't. Always remember that you start to do your best and do your assignments of your priorities and stay on top of your assignments as, stay on top of your assignments as much as possible. That's all my suggestions I'm gonna give you guys. If you guys want straight A's to improve your GPA. If you guys already have straight A's, good for you. And if you guys don't have straight A's, this is for you. this video is for you to improve your grades to have a better GPA. Always remember that. That's this is the video for you tips on how to improve the GPA to get a better one. So remember that. If you guys are watching this. For you. Complete your assignments on time like I said before. If you want to get straight A's, please remember that to do what your professor likes you to do and that way you'll be good to go. So well, my advice is that if you guys don't have straight A's, please do not think too hard on yourself. It's not worth it. You remember that being crazy grades is more important than having straight A's. Always gonna remember that like always. So if you guys have any questions, just comment down one below and don't forget to subscribe if you guys are not doing it, just don't forget to do it and that way you can get notifications. If you guys want to be friends, just follow me on Instagram, Instagram and that way you can be having questions about the video if you guys need, if you guys have questions. If you need anything, just DM me on Instagram and that way you can be in touch in social media. So remember that. Take this advice video that she gave you. Also, thanks for watching. Peace out.